Hey, what's up, party people? Welcome to another wild and wonderful holiday pre-tape. Uh, this time, we are looking forward, believe it or not, to 2022, uh, at least as far as film and TV goes. Um, we'll be giving you all of our predictions. We'll be telling you exactly who is going to be a scroll by the end of the year, who's going to win the Oscar, uh, which one of us is going to get killed off mid-season. <laughs> we have so many things to predict, uh, including... Uh, some live chat questions that we didn't get a chance to do last time. We, we may get a chance to do it this time. Last time we went, we went for an hour about 2021. Let's see if we can fill 15 minutes on 2022. Uh, we'll talk about uh, your fan questions, or maybe I'll just read the, uh, uh, the wiki entry for Dexter Jetster. I don't know. That'll be a ju- that'll be a judgment <laughs> call for me at the end of the show. <laughs> let's uh, let's start with the with the obvious. Um, there's a lot of things that we know are coming next year. What are we most excited to see? I will go first, and it's going to be a theme of the show. It's Avatar 2. Um, mm-hmm. Cinemas are, oh my God, that's so perfect. <laughs> Look at that little Navi. Is that real? <laughs> little Navi baby. Space fetus. And much oh, like the, the space baby at the end of 2001, uh, who, if you read the book, has come to Earth to awaken us into a new age of knowledge and, and interdimensional travel. Uh, Avatar 2 is going to be born into theaters, into our mind's eye, um, to save cinema as we know it. Um, mm-hmm. We're all going to be dragged kicking and streaming, screaming and streaming into the into the metaverse, whether we like it or not. Um, next year, you know, Apple's coming out with their brain chip. Uh, Elon's going to have his skull jack. And, uh, um, you know, we're going to have to do all of our uh, meetings on Facebook. But like we're uh, dressed in like a, a, an NFT blazer that costs three hundred dollars to oh. dress up online. But Avatar like, me is going to be so hot. This is going to be the only thing that's going to make it worthwhile because you need the character. Just big stick. ass titties. Oh, <laughs> yes. Big ass titties. Exactly. <laughs> big blue titties in the face. Um, but the, the thing is that you need those. To, to encourage people to enter the multiverse willingly or the metaverse willingly, because otherwise it's just all pain and like you're going to be denied, you know, basic social services if you don't jack in. Um, so this is going to be the thing that gets us to go willingly, put on the goggles, uh, uh, put in the brain chip and just let James Cameron take us back to Pandora, the way of water. You know, be like water is going to be my motto for 2022. And I'm just going to glide like a like a beautiful blue fluid into into that movie. And I can't I can't wait for anything else. It's it's coming out in December and it's gonna make the whole awful year well, worthwhile. I, I just put in the chat, Spencer, a, a headline I always revisit when Avatar 2 discussion comes up because I'm just yes, waiting. It will make you shut yourself with your mouth wide open. And I'm gonna hold him to that. <laughs> James Cameron's <laughs> boasted 2014. Um, you get know. a headset and a diaper when you get into the theater. Um, <laughs> this is going to, I'm so excited for this. Uh, just as far as a cinematic experience, um, I, I think he is here to save us from ourselves and from cinema. Look at that. She learned how to hold her breath for six minutes. Kate Winslet. Um, this is so doing good. David Blaine shit. Just to, yeah, just to, just to pull this off for you. Look, this is... <laughs> Avatar movie, like the Avatar movie is not good. What it is- It is good. When you, no, it's not. <laughs> Critical um, reevaluation has determined that it is good. No, it absolutely- Joe, Joe and I's re-review, <laughs> we, uh, we break it down for you. <laughs> I, I love both of you, but you are super wrong. But the thing that's good about it is like, it's not about the movie, it's the experience. So if I go into a comfy chair, with 3D goggles on, and I, because this is the experience. And a tube I in your had. butt. Yes, and a butt tube. This <laughs> All is, theaters must install the butt tube. <laughs> this is the experience that I had where it was like, it felt like everything was literally surrounding me. It was the best 3D I've ever seen. The only way they could improve it is that when uh, uh, Jake and uh, uh, whatever her name is make out a, a friggin' dude comes in and spits in my mouth. Like, that's <laughs> the only way that they could recreate James that. James Cameron will do that person. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's um, the best 3D I've ever seen. It, it, it wasn't a movie for me. It was a ride. Yep. Um, and it was an experience. I'm ready and for I that got ride. to again. watch a movie. I'm ready for that ride. Make my chair vibrate. <laughs> I'm, I'm i will i will ride that chair make an usher come take my glasses off forcefully and choke me um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> oh, wait. The Avatar experience is going to be very interesting. It's, it's yeah. 4D. My ponytail monetize the pre tapes. Am I? Am I gonna, the one? We, the we, 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 we need the bleep button anyway. Just bleep all of it. <laughs> I just I like, super I like the idea that. that people are watching this at Daniel's like, let them bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> yeah. No, she, she oh, hopefully did the hand gestures too. <laughs> Let um, them. Uh, have you guys, have either of you been? I've to, been watching too much Grinch. <laughs> have either of you been to Pandora at Disney World? No, no, not As yet. someone who was like, I admired Avatar, but I didn't love it. Um, that is a damn good theme park land. And mm. the main ride is so effective. Uh, I, multiple people, myself included, we talked about it afterwards, how we got almost like emotional and almost teary eyed, even though I went into that ride not being like, Avatar, yeah. Um, it just was so well done uh, as far as like uh, taking you on this uh, cinematic. Much like emotion. Jake Sully, you will you will emerge changed. <laughs> yes. More yes. in tune. My time world. in Pandora affected yes. you guys. So. Oh, it's so good. So I'm super excited for this. And I just realized that I'm, we're basically going to get Avatar and Dune movies, you know, on alternate years for, Ooh, for like four or five years to come. So water. I'm set. I'm a, there's a, a, a reason to hang on, people. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why uh, that's my most anticipated. Um, but I'm sure there are other films. Um, Eric, why don't you start with uh, what, what you're looking forward to next year? Uh, yeah, even though, uh, look, guys, I'm really excited for all of this Marvel movies, okay? I'm really psyched for Doctor Strange and Thor. I'm a little more trepidation about Black Panther, but I hope it's great. Uh, but I'm going to say to to re- set aside all the Marvel, uh, let's just say that's a default, uh, Mission Impossible 7, because yeah. this is my series. I love this series. I love this as an action series. I love how it's escalated. I love that we, there was recently uh, leaked imagery of Tom Cruise doing rehearsing a stunt for Mission Impossible 8, where apparently he was on a plane that was flipping around upside down with him Mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. Um, So uh, uh, this movie got delayed, of course, like many others because of the pandemic. Uh, But uh, the fact that they're making seven and eight, not they're not making them literally back to back. That was the original plan, but then I guess they're making them like a few months apart. Sounds like they're, you know, they're already kind of going a little more into uh, uh, story. (laughs) (laughs) So realize to look at there. A little gingerbread man man on the wing. Gives it all. So uh, yeah, I love the the, the new people. There's uh, a gremlin hit. on the wing. Yeah, do you think he time travels in eight? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, we have to a, steal Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> as a huge fan of the series, I am way too excited for uh, Henry Zersny returning as Kittredge from the first movie. Kittredge. Uh, 26 later, 26 years later. <laughs> uh, and you got your Haley Atwell in it. Uh, yeah, like uh, I'm just, uh, I'm psyched about all of it. Uh, so that's my... Marvel aside of my excitement. Yeah, uh, that's, that's going to be possibly. great. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's, mm, it's a fantastic cast. Tom Cruise at some point has to learn that he's not actually like invincible. I'm starting to believe that he is though. I think that he might be <laughs> right. honest. Okay, well thing. now we should all be, okay, well then we'll all do Scientology yeah, and I mean, then I'm, go it's, through it's, it's, what it's, is it like $200,000 worth of courses and then you get to be a god? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seems that way. So um, uh, let's shout out our sponsor, the, the Church of Scientology. <laughs> Just you too can be Ethan Hunt, everyone. You, you, gotta, you gotta believe in your own Thetans, you know? Yes. You just don't have I don't know. I don't know what it is, um, but I do love this uh, late career uh, renaissance he's having where he becomes an indestructible um, uh, uh, demigod. Um, that's great. And I'm I'm excited for this. We're going to get a double dose of, um, of danger uh, with Tom Cruise for yep. this and Top Gun next year. Yep. Um, so I'm... I'm really psyched. Uh, I think that's a that's definitely worth looking forward to for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, Danielle, what do you got? Spider Verse, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I just like literally 2018 was filled with great comic book movies. Um, there was Infinity War, Black Panther, and I thought that Black Panther was going to be my favorite movie of uh, 2018, and then I saw Spider Verse my favorite movie of 2018 yep. and it feels weird to say um but it, it just is um i am so looking forward to the next like adventure that miles goes on um the the animation like y- y'all all know i talk about spider verse all the time um yeah. you know how it's good and how good it is it won an oscar over pixar movies which no one does that never happens right right yeah. 
Um, yeah, I hope they know what they're doing. And Lord and Miller is Lord and Miller. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they're still they're still as involved in this one, right? As they were the last. Time. They are. Uh, this, it, this time it's a bummer. Be- it. Yeah, uh, it, it's a bummer because the original director was already booked to do something else. Mm-hmm. Um, and but he's Joaquin great. Dos Santos, choreographer yeah. and director of yep. some of your favorite fight scenes of Avatar and Korra, Absolutely. my favorite animation show. Yeah. So. It's in good hands. I also think they brought on um, the guy from Soul, Kemp Power. Yep. I, I want to check his name but yeah yes uh, yes Ken Powers yeah so he's nice. also on it I, yeah so I am Great. very what was that Miles that sweet <laughs> yeah yeah so okay lots of lots of reasons to live <laughs> folks yeah. um, this is this is actually shaping up to be a pretty uh pretty cool year we haven't even talked about the the Marvel and DC uh and and um Star Wars stuff yet but mm-hmm. uh let's get into predictions first I'm looking for a bold prediction Old flavors, folks. Um, something shot. that, something not obvious, like oh, Avatar Two is gonna usher in a new uh, age of Aquarius and a golden age for humanity. This you know, is the time. <laughs> something, something you might not see coming. Um, so uh, I am going to start, and I think that uh, I have no reason to believe this, except that there's like three things that would make sense for this to happen in next year. Uh, and I think just people want it to happen. And Warner Bros, you know, has showed that they will bend to fan pressure uh, if you make enough noise. Um, oh. I think that Henry Cavill will return to Superman in either The Flash, Aquaman 2, or Black Adam. And I don't mean like uh, The Flash is like running real fast and like you see a little scene of him like going like, wait, or whatever. I mean, like, he's going to be back. Like, they will return him into the mainline continuity one way or another. Uh, they'd be stupid not to. He wants to do it. Uh, it, it doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. Um, as far as the timeline goes, you can always run fast enough to reset that bad boy. Um, so I think by the end of the year, we will have him return in one, nay, two of these films. Uh, we will have him back in the suit and doing his thing uh, in, the, in this year and going forward. Henry Cavill is going to be Superman by the end of the year. That's my big, big bold prediction. Um, oh, it. it DC EU is in such a weird, precarious position right now where like they're trying to both balance the things that worked and trying to like introduce new things. The um, things that didn't and the people that love the things that didn't. And yeah. The people that, yeah, there's a lot to, a lot there, to juggle. Uh, uh, but no matter how you felt about his Superman movies, everyone everyone thought that he was a great Superman. No one had a problem with that. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they always, they, most people made the distinction whether they liked the film or not, mm-hmm. that he, right. that he fit the, fit the cape. Yeah, um, that I didn't like the decisions and I feel like you the know, character, but not his decisions. Made you, the know, you know, yeah. scoops and stuff like that. How I, I feel like you probably know this and like, you're just not allowed to tell us, right? <laughs> You know things. <laughs> you know I know, things. I know. I know. I know. I, I know nothing. But here's the thing. I will say. I agree with you to some extent. I. I don't think he secretly like has a big part in the Flash or Black Adam, but I could see by the end of next year them either officially announcing or the post credit tease. You know, the uh, the Rock keeps bringing up Black Adam's got to fight Superman mm. and all this stuff. And and Flash certainly give, seems to g- give you plenty of opportunity. I think you know we still because the Flash is still even though it was part of fandom, um, they still haven't really gone into promotion on that. And I think people are going to really get so excited when they know Keaton's back. When I say when they know, because there's so many people out there who aren't following this stuff, yep. who are going to see a trailer with Michael Keaton and go, oh my God. The Vulture. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Vulture. Um, <laughs> the fact that Affleck is back in The Flash kind of does show you that it's all still on the table. Yep. Uh, so I do think, you know, I, I don't know anything, uh, but I could definitely see what you're saying happening, especially because they are leaning so heavy, like everyone, into the multiverse of it all and being like, yes, it's okay for us to have multiple Batman happening at the same time. We're going to have three different cinematic Batmans happening this, oh. next year, guys. Um, so mm-hmm. why not Superman as well? Because they're actively developing all this other stuff with Michael B. Jordan and J.J. Abrams and all that stuff, but they can still have Cavill come back, you know? Well, and the Michael B. Jordan Superman is not going to be Cavill. No, it's not. Exactly. Yeah. It could, yeah, there's a million ways to do it. Uh, to have Also, okay, yeah. Andrew Garfield, you clearly know something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get that off camera. Well, you, you, I'm sure you got the scoops. Um, you're a resident <laughs> scoopster for sure. Uh, but what is your uh, uh, big 2022 prediction 
Either Eric or Danielle chime in with me if you got it. Danielle. Or Jay. Uh, um, this is controversial. Um, I, I think <laughs> do that it, do I, it, do it. I think that they're going to recast Shuri. In the but haven't they already? Fi- wow! Movie. But that first of all, wild. Uh, I love it. <laughs> they already filmed uh, this movie. Like about no? half of it. About half of it. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, um, interesting. And nothing is official. Um, there aren't any, which is why we don't talk about it. Like we don't talk about rumors. We talk about things that are like official. Variety. Yeah, we very specifically Deadline, have not covered this like story. That. Yeah, we don't cover the story. Yeah, yeah. Um, we don't do this. But my instinct is that for several reasons, um, and they might finish out and uh, do this Black Panther movie, but I think at the end of it, when they're done shooting, they're going to announce that they're going to recast Shuri. Interesting. Yeah, or or we were we were talking about this earlier, uh, uh, scroll, secret scroll, <laughs> scroll. secret <laughs> yep. scroll. Oh, she's been scrolled all, scrolled all along. Uh, uh, quick, chop her head off at the end. <laughs> bye bye. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I they, I, but you think recast before this, like with someone else, will finish the movie? Look, that's bold. They bold. recast. They recast black people all the time. Uh, R.I.P. Um, uh, who's the math guy? Terrence Howard. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and by the math guy, we mean the anti-math guy. No, no I don't. I don't think they're gonna pull a uh, daytime soap and have Sheree change actors halfway through the movie while we're watching it. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> no, that would be <laughs> amazing. Uh, I mean, yeah. As someone or who watches a lot of soaps, yeah. you just do that thing where you're like, Sheree will now be played by blah right, blah, right. blah blah yeah. blah blah. Well, but I just honestly, remember in the in the 90s too. they had a character on Days of Our Lives, and he went into the shower one actor. And yep. his girlfriend came in behind him, and the, uh, the new actor turned around. Wow. <laughs> I don't think they'll do that. I, I think that they'll finish this movie, um, and then they'll either recast Shuri yeah. or they will find a way because Black Panther is such, and it, it has so many characters, and it's yeah. such a rich thing. Um, they'll either recast her or they will put someone else at the forefront. But yeah. I, I, I don't think at the end of the year that Letitia Wright is still going to be the lead of this series. Disney is how you say risk averse. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, see James Gunn uh, or uh, Gina Carano or so many other examples mm-hmm. of like, if you're known for anything outside of your Disney role, it's, it's just shut up and act. Um, but, but also, I mean, again, because we don't, we don't want to, we don't want to say, because these are, these are rumors yes, and we don't know rumors. all the things. We don't it's like, if, if these rumors are true, she literally could be like holding up production with some of this stuff. So mm. exactly. it's like, so yeah, there's just like, I, I agree. Like that movie is probably, probably being changed in real time as far as if it was ever going to end with our new Black Panther, Shuri, and yeah. it's her, uh, that might be changing right now, you know, as they have this several month downtime to rewrite the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, it, things things might be uh, yeah, I, you you feel for them because it's this sad sad thing that mm-hmm. Chadwick Boseman passed away and such a tragedy yes. uh, on the heels of a movie that was so well received and now that a person that would very naturally in the narrative and was a well liked element in these yep. movies um, now seems to be a problem. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I I think that you just back you back up the Brinks truck for Lapita. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can do that. Um, you got Kaluuya. You got Kaluuya got around there. They too. got options. Yeah. And again, we don't like. Again, this is why we don't traffic in rumors. Right. Um, right. But this is why I'm taking the big swing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can see yeah, it happening. Uh, but again, back up. The, I think they back up the Briggs truck for Lapita. Yeah, they will. <laughs> uh, that that's a uh, that's not as bold. I can see that happening right now <laughs> from my window. Um, <laughs> Uh, Eric, uh, you have a, also a not so bold. You have a very mild prediction. I have a mild prediction only in so much as that if you mention Avatar 2 on Twitter, the easy joke is no one cares about Avatar anymore. Why are they bothering with these movies anymore? Ridiculous. And it's always ridiculous. History. And so I'm just putting out there, it's going to be a huge hit, guys. Uh, I don't. I don't think it'll necessarily be a the new number one movie of all time hit, which Cameron's last two films, Titanic and Avatar, Mm. were. Um, Mm. But you have to look at the fact that Avatar made so much money that if this movie makes half 
or mm. even less than half, it can still break a billion dollars. Wow. So I just think that, yeah, the people getting uh, uh, so uh, over, I don't think that's a real image, by the way, I should mention William, just because I don't think we know the actual title of Avatar 2. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I was surprised to see yeah, I, say, water, I think but, some, some fans I mean, I have, love uh, it. had some fun ideas, but um, <laughs> but yeah, I, th- I just think, so that's the only reason I'm saying it as like a bold prediction, because I realized, I think you and I, we, we know, of course it is going to make money, uh, but there is the people who like to be so, so like, no, no one's going to care. No one's going to show up. People will show up. It, it'll, it'll be yep. a successful. The, the 3D experience. I'm sorry. Again. Uh, Why limit yourself to 3Ds? I always say, I think we're going to go into four or five, six Ds. No, because that, because <laughs> um, that like, I, I do genuinely think that that was such a big part and, it, and that spends so much money. Yeah. But I do think that that experience, which was however you feel about the movie. By 2022? Nothing, it... nothing has yeah. touched the 3D of that movie. It's going to be a $70 um, ticket, and I'm going to buy two. So uh, three, so I don't have to sit next to anyone. To your <laughs> point, Danielle, like one of the, the worst things that happened because of Avatar was all those movies being quickly converted yeah. to 3D. But only Whereas showed this one, you, yeah. look how terrible this 3D is compared to what Avatar, which was yeah. Avatar, without- yeah, was literally made to be in 3D. Right. And, yeah. I, and I don't doubt that they'll do it again and will make money and I'll watch it in IMAX. Right. Can't wait. <laughs> Fit in my mouth. <sighs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Um, we can <laughs> talk about Avatar sex all day. Um, get your ponytails ready, people. Um, <laughs> We uh, here's here, this is a quick one. Uh, we all predicted what will win uh, the best picture um, at the beginning of the year for the Oscars. We all picked West Side Story. So moving on, West Side Story. Um, <laughs> it's Spielberg. It's uh, they're boomers. They're going to vote for West Side Story. Uh, and we haven't. We also talked about it the last episode. The three of us haven't been able to see the films Very that cast. we think are going to be yeah. our personal favorites of the year because every Oscar movie comes out, um, you know, in late December. Also, uh, I just I, I saw some people mentioning that other things that for a second were like popping up like Belfast haven't stuck. And yeah. West Side Story, just by being a very well done old school, it's a literally this movie has already been made and won the Oscar. But yeah. there's something just being like, hey, Spielberg, he's a good filmmaker. Let's yeah. give him another Oscar. Yep. All right. Now we return to the familiar well-trod territory of the MCU. Uh, we, you know it, you love it. Uh, they're doing, they're doing the most next year. So I ask you this, uh, which of the films and TV uh, shows that Marvel's coming out with next year, are you actually the most excited for slash do you think is going to be the best? We've got She-Hulk, Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, Secret Invasion, the Guardians Holiday Special, What If Season 2, Doctor Strange, uh, Thor, Black Panther, uh, and I'll th- we'll throw in the Spider Verse too, even though it's not, uh, and Morpheus, <laughs> even though they're not MCU. Uh, let's say Marvel Comics uh, uh, productions coming out next year. Any of those uh, uh, shoot out above the heads and tails above the other, or is it all just episodes of the same TV show to you at this point? I think it's going to be She Hulk and Moon Knight. She Hulk, She Hulk and Moon Knight. Okay, yeah, I, I, interesting. I mean, I see, I, I share those, but I think that those are the highest ceiling, lowest floor. I could see those being two more. Uh, rotten uh, 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 reviewed Marvel things, or I can see them being just the de facto best things that they ever do, because um, they're pretty, they're pretty wild out there uh, characters, and we'll see if they. I like the creative team that they've assembled to deal with them, but we'll see if they can if they can actually capture that if it'll make the translation. Um, yes, uh, uh, sorry to talk all over that. Why, why, which one are you most excited for, and why? Oh me, yeah. Um, she Hulk. I I don't. Hmm. I don't know what direction they're going in, but if they do the very meta version of She-Hulk, which I think is the most popular version of She-Hulk, mm-hmm. <clears throat> sorry, um, if they do the meta version of She-Hulk, which is the most popular, where it's like literally she is taking from Marvel Comics history, and in this point it would probably be from MCU history, and that is how her character as a lawyer, Jennifer, um, figures out how to solve cases. And that's how she builds cases. I think that's really interesting. <laughs> and the fact that at the end of the trailer, um, she fully, fully gym faces and <laughs> talks to the camera. I think we might get the meta. If we get the meta, I think it'll be huge. Okay. I think well. they're at the point where they can do that. Yeah. 
they can, but should they? Do they? Is it too much meta-ness? We'll see. Uh, I think that is it is a fine line to walk. Um, mm-hmm. But again, I do like the people that are that are behind it. I I, I trust them at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, Eric, what's your most anticipated? Uh, so let's putting aside Spider Verse because it's probably going to be the best one, but it's not MCU. Um, mm-hmm. So I'll yeah I'll I'll uh, pick one show and one movie. Uh, but I, I, She Hulk's mine too, so I won't say too much about that. Just to say that I'm hyped for it. I love Tatiana Maslany. Uh, you know, and yes, it'll be a delicate balance to get this right, but I'm very hopeful uh, and we'll see. Uh, and then on the movie side, though, uh, I'll say Doctor Strange just mm-hmm. because I love that Sam Raimi is directing it. It's sort of fascinating to see him kind of come full circle, return to the world of Marvel, work with Kevin Feige again 20 years later. Um, I right now, as we're doing this before, you know, we're doing this before Spider-Man comes out because we kind of assume Spider-Man is going to lay some groundwork for Doctor Strange give us a post credit scene probably leading into it but we know so little about dr strange the cast list is way too small <laughs> you know like the <laughs> cast list is like just the returning cast and the girl they cast is uh, america chavez there's gonna be a lot more people in this movie guys um so that makes me excited i like that we don't know a lot i like that there weren't set photos that were leaking left and right giving away stuff yeah. um so that anticipation just makes me sort of hyped up and especially the Raimi of it all who hasn't directed a movie in a long time. Uh, Oz was his last one. He directed the pilot for Ash versus Evil Dead. So I'm just glad to get some new Sam Raimi stuff. So uh, yeah, that, I want to see cameras it. on uh, on skateboards being pushed down hallways. And oh, lots of... point of view shot of the yeah. cloak. Come on, <laughs> yes. that oh, cloak is getting a point of view shot. Yes, it I I'm not gonna say like the cloak is one of my favorite characters. Oh yeah, cloak is it's definitely a Loki MVP. Um, <laughs> not Loki. Low key. Uh, I will say, uh, speaking of Loki, uh, I'm look, just looking forward to Thor. I think if we, um, Taika Waititi is not worn out as welcome to me. In fact, you know, with Reservoir, uh, not Reservoir Dogs. Um, Reservation. 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 Dogs, yeah. Dogs. Uh, yeah. And, um, and Jojo Rabbit and stuff like that. Like he, his style is flexible enough that like it, it hasn't yet gotten old, even though he definitely does have his moves. Um, but I think that uh, Ragnarok is probably my favorite MCU movie. So give him another hundred plus million dollars to to go crazy in space with with the Guardians of the Galaxy and Thor together, and a, and a title like Love and Thunder. Hell yeah! Uh, I think that is to me the most like surefire no brainer. Uh, a buff hit. Natalie Portman. Come on, a buff Portman. <laughs> yeah. Get a, bu- a reinvigorated buff Portman. <laughs> Get her on the on a good uh, a good cycle of uh, of whatever's to get her in, in Marvel shape and uh, have her run through a brick wall, even though she's probably gonna be a scroll. I can't wait. Um, I think that's gonna be great. Uh, so, uh, should we talk about who we think is gonna be a scroll at this point? Just like just lay lay down your marker because I think Jane Foster is uh, is second only to um, Shuri as far as who's most likely. Because I don't think Natalie Portman wants to really stick around for a bunch mm. of Marvel movies. So I'm thinking that she... Oh, that's a good... Okay, fair point. I, I'm just going meta-ness of like what actor like doesn't want to do this for their the rest of their career, but it, um, it would still be a big impact if they were. Jane Foster. Mm. I, mm. I think... Because <laughs> I love that she has no idea what's going on in Marvel movies. Um, <laughs> I think Pepper Potts will be a scrub. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she has... No, she's gooping. She's, she's putting yeah. she's putting those jade jade eggs. Where when, they go? When she yeah. did that online thing the other day, where she was like, "What's Hawkeye?" When someone asked her about Hawkeye, and I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, sh- okay, she's probably in Hawkeye now, <laughs> and she's yeah, not yeah, yeah. she's not messing with us like the Spider Man people. She just is like, I don't know what this is, but I yeah. filmed five days. That's a great it. point. Yeah, she's definitely out of it. I would I would say Michael Douglas too at this point, probably Hank oh. Pym. <laughs> He also was one of the ones that was like, I don't know what's going on in any of these yes. films. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Civil War. Yeah, he's, he's like, if you just ask me. Yeah. Uh, Eric, any predictions for next year? Who, who will know to scroll by the time that, uh, that Secret Invasion rolls around? I mean, you know, because in Secret Invasion, it wasn't like they were all dead. They had been like, you know, being kept in yeah. stasis. And so a yeah. lot of, you know, they came mm-hmm. back after. Right. Um, Maybe I'm gonna say Wong just because he's all over the place, and maybe he's all over too many Wongs. He's, yeah, there's he's doing be more than one. scrolly business. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, and then the uh, good... real Wong can come back. What if Louise is a scroll? Oh, interesting. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he knows he's everything. collecting the stories. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I like that. Uh, I still right. think that he should get at there's... least like every 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 Marvel series to catch you up should have Louise. That should be an being, option. Like, yeah. that's what happens yeah 100 <laughs> uh 
um, even if they have to just get uh, you know lookalikes to 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 flap their gums, they can do it with uh, with deep fakes at this sure. point. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, moving away from the MCU uh, briefly. Uh, mm-hmm. No, actually permanently because uh, nothing else is MCU related. Um, <laughs> what non-Marvel show are we psyched to see return? It's hard to know uh, or debut. a year worth of, uh, yeah, of TV because we only really know like the first three or four months, but there's some big yeah. TV stuff coming next year. Uh, what is appointment viewing for you, Danielle? Y'all know that I'm trash. And <laughs> everyone here knows that I'm like a super trash bag. I cannot wait for Pam and Tommy. I'm yes. So now, will you explain to them the the um, uh, Gen Zers who who's Pam and who's Tommy in this case? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So Pamela Anderson started. Oh gosh, started on a home improvement as like a tool girl, and then went on to Baywatch, and then became one of the most popular like. An icon. Hot women, an icon. Yeah. Like everyone posters, has posters in every dorm room. on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, and so she married um, a guy who was uh, a guy in a band, a drummer, <laughs> um, a drummer in a band. Uh-huh. And on their on their honeymoon, um, this was the like I think the first of this generation like celebrity sex tape. Yeah. Um, they. <laughs> it's first one say, I remember seeing. I can't <laughs> say the words I want to say. Bleep me. I'm going to say it. Um, they, they boated out hard on a boat. Um, <laughs> um, and so this series follows um, their. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am so inappropriate. I don't know why I have a job. Um, so this series follows their journey mm. through, like, I think their marriage and their sex tape and all yep. of those things. Um, and it stars Lily James, uh, Sebastian Stan. Yes. Um, Nick friggin' Offerman. Um, there's a... Th- it's a murder. That's Rogan. Show. Oh, don't yeah, I was gonna say the the greatest thing I'd ever read in a trade was this past year when it when this show was being announced and it said Lily James will play Pamela Anderson, special channel play Tommy Lee, and Seth Rogan will play the guy who stole the sex tape. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that is I want that to be his on screen credit. <laughs> guy who stole sex tape. Yeah. The, the role he was born to play. And yes. I, I I and if you look at Lily James when she's not Pam. And then you look at Pam, that's like, that doesn't make sense. But when you look at Lily James as Pam. She transformed. (laughs) Drag queens have done so much good. That's all I have to say. And it's from the uh, the director of I, Tanya, and Cruella. Yep. Craig Gillespie. And I, Tanya is (laughs) one of my favorite movies of the last like five years i love i tell you that is really solid that's a that's a great pick um my my uh tommy lee pam anderson interest was just recently peaked when i watched the von three-part von dutch documentary (laughs) there's an an extended tommy lee cameo oh yeah uh, talks about how him wearing that on cribs was kind of uh, a level up for the brand also one of the best episodes of cribs Uh, what a pure time it was (laughs) uh, i I can name barry i oh gosh uh nope i won't do that that is not this episode um I could name your favorite least... cribs episodes oh gosh i will not do that that is not this episode um <laughs> i will say that's a good that idea one of the... though yeah <laughs> yeah let's do it um one of the fun things is that pink was banging him for a while and like name checked him in a song oh just saying. i think that's true of most people Right, right. <laughs> in that in that era, sure. <laughs> at some point, banging Tommy Lee, yes, but uh, yes. uh, he was Tommy the Pete Lee. Davidson of his time. How far are we fallen? Uh, so <laughs> I, uh, I put the same question to you, Eric. What are you uh, What are you looking forward to the most uh, TV wise next year? Honestly, uh, probably also Pam and Tommy, uh, <laughs> but to uh, uh, mix it up a little bit, I, I'll go I'll go to Star Wars and say I am excited for Kenobi. Um, just the fact that Ian McGregor coming back something and the, you know we talk we joke all the time about actors who will have to be bugged in interviews over and over and over and over again and this guy's dealt with you know 15 years of like hey you gonna play Obi-Wan Kenobi again what if you came back as Obi-Wan Kenobi again and he'd act to be like that'd be fun I'd be up for it and then finally it actually happened 
Uh, so it's just kind of cool to have him come back. And Caden Christensen coming back is a trip. And the fact that it's like this sort of new team of people using it and going into these characters in this sort of era um, away from George Lucas and maybe not to stilted um, in how they uh, approach performance and character. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, there's a lot of Star Wars coming to Disney Plus, but this is the one that I'm definitely the most curious about. Yeah, for sure. That's just going to fit like a like a comfy broken in Jedi robe. You know? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just, just slide into that thing and and let his uh, dulcet tones wash over me. Mm. Um, I am excited for what I can't believe is the final season of Better Call Saul uh, is coming out next year, which I think is like slowly but surely surpassed Breaking Bad for me as the okay. best show in that universe. And, you know, it almost took Bob Odenkirk from us. Uh, it, had to, it had to stop filming uh, for a health emergency. And I, I don't know if that's related to why it's ending or if this was always the plan. Um, it was already announced before. It was always yeah. the plan, yeah. 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 There you go. So I, 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 they've taken us on such an amazing, amazing trip so far. And like, I think because they, the show also always starts with those flash forwards that they could keep doing a, a Saul Goodman show post Breaking Bad, like yeah. at, the, at the Cinnabon. It could just be him doing Cinnabon stuff. That's how much <laughs> I like this. And I, you know, I, I started out uh, with an aversion to uh, prequels and to um, spinoffs and stuff like that. But this was great. This was so good. It's just you just look at the people involved. That 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 tells you more about it than than the concept because they're they know how to tell a story, man. Um, and this has been such a such great character work and and tension and just some of the best TV uh, of the last five six years, however many seasons it's been on. Um, God, I can't believe they're they're so great. They're just so great. I, I, I want to see them again, and I I wish they would keep coming back for more. But I guess it's better for them to to end it now rather than wear out their welcome or God forbid have you know health get in the way. Um, shockingly i'm it, this is kind of more notable for what's not on my list game of thrones don't really care i mean i'll, I'll watch House it so the dragon how's the dragon i I'll, yeah. I'll check it out but you know matt smith uh, doing his uh, doing some sister effing like i feel like i've seen it i don't really need it uh well but i will check it out to just see if it recaptures the magic that and is super wild also i do have to ask so there is the harry potter special coming out mm-hmm. yeah you're gonna watch that nope uh, I mean, I will. No, again, that's something where I will watch, but I'm not like counting the days. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll throw it on. It's just night like, and, like so much your stuff. I, it's, it's amazing uh, how I have like a radar for what's going to be bad. Like, I, <laughs> granted, those are two of the most popular things on earth, but um, I feel like with TV shows and mostly science fiction authors, it's like on a long enough timeline, they will say some horrible things. So it definitely worked for <laughs> Harry Potter. Uh, we should do a, t- a timeline of science fiction and fantasy authors saying <laughs> terrible things. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, Better Call Saul is uh, is so great, and yeah, is, is certainly there. There are you know there are some other examples, but this one's the prime example when people say prequels never work. They're like, look at this, because I think, yeah, the, the conversation is very much there and viable about this being possibly better than Breaking Bad, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the fact that these two shows ex- coexist and are so absolutely yeah. fantastic. I do think it's time to wrap it up, mostly because uh, Jonathan Banks playing younger than Breaking Bad is, is pushing <laughs> yeah. things more and I don't, more. I know, more it's, more. Not, it's sort of breaking the immersion, but uh, <laughs> yeah, like, he was always curmudgeonly. At yeah. a certain point, you got to start taking out that de-aging software. <laughs> yeah, just, a, just a little bit, just a little touch here and there, yeah. but it's fine. Um, he's still great. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then also, the, what's interesting that none of us mentioned is the zillion dollar Lord of the Rings show that's coming out next I week. Do, but yeah. We, we just do. haven't seen enough. Um, Nope. And you know you can throw all the money at the world, uh, at it, but you don't have uh, Tolkien's not around anymore to write it, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> Look, I, I there was that. Gosh darn it! Um, there was that show where it was like fairies, fairy prostitutes or whatever, and like I don't care. Carnival Row. Carnival Row. Yeah, I, like, <laughs> I knew exactly what you meant. <laughs> I just like don't care. Well, they, I mean, yeah, I guess Orlando Bloom, you know, this is obviously different. This is uh, uh, in a world we all know and love and um, would maybe love to return to. But uh, I don't know. There have been other attempts to adapt Lord of the Rings that have not gone as well. Um, and uh, I like the George Harrison one. That's cute. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, it's a big wait and see because uh, you're missing the creative force and the, the storytelling vision behind what made these great. It's not that mm-hmm. uh, the sets look really good, although that didn't hurt. Um, so, it's hard to translate stuff. Y'all. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to translate stuff, as especially elfish. Uh, the, the verb <laughs> tenses are crazy. Um, 
All right, I think we should stop there. Um, I know we have more questions about the, we're gonna talk about the pandemic, but God, that's boring. And also like, who knows, we could be all on fire uh, next year. <laughs> but, but, um, this world is on fire. fire. <laughs> and we do have some uh, fan questions, but again, I think we'll 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 pencil those in for uh, another pre-tape. Well, maybe we'll do an all fan questions pre-tape. That they already um, would have seen by now. So the fan ooh. questions that you guys have already seen. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's what those yeah. were <laughs> in a recording soon. So instead, I'll just read you the first paragraph of uh, Dexter Jetster's uh, fandom page. Uh, Dexter <laughs> Dex Jetster, nick nicknamed Dexy Jet, was a male basilisk with a colorful background who lived on the planet Coruscant and was the mm -hmm. owner of Dex's Diner. Serving mostly hard workers from the area, the diner offered homestyle cooked meals and freshly brewed RDs, also known as Jawa juice. Jetster <laughs> worked as the cook and employed two waitresses, uh, Hermione Bagua, oh, crossover, and WA7 waitress droid, his partner, Flo. Uh, tune Jawa in next juice? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Flo's diner. Okay. <laughs> tune in next week uh, or next episode for uh, more of Dexter Jetster's uh, uh, wiki page and did you read that because you're hoping dexter will be in the kenobi show because yeah, now i am better be All i right. need to know how they became friends we're gonna that's do true. one dexter jetster paragraph a day <laughs> and that'll teach you the order in which we recorded these yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, thank you everybody for watching uh more of the same coming at you soon bye-bye